another week of class dojo. So last week we were reading a book. What book? The Helpful Animals book. We were reading the book and you were sending me your videos and all of you did great reading the story. We are going to keep practicing but today we are going to do some of the vocabulary words that we may not know. But even if we know them, we are going to practice pronouncing them today. So last week you read your book for me. So let's take a look quickly at some of the words we are going to learn today. Our first word is helpful. Okay, I will show you a picture. So quickly look at the picture right here. I want, I want us to practice saying it first before I explain. Let's read the first part first. Say, help. Help. And then, full. Say, full. So let's say it together. Repeat after me. Helpful. Helpful. So what is helpful? Let's look carefully at the picture. Look at the boy. He is carrying all of the heavy books for the girl. So he is helping her. That means he is helpful. So let's practice saying it again. Say helpful. Very good. Well done. So our next word is very easy. I'm sure you all know it by now. But let's practice them together as well. So look at all of these different things. What are they called? Food. Okay. So A, all the stuff we can eat, we call food. So let's practice saying it together. Say food. Food. One more time. Food. Very good. Easy peasy, right? So let's move to our next one. So up next we have family and families. So let's quickly take a look at the picture first. What is a family? It's when we have a sister, a brother, maybe a baby brother, sister also, and a mom and a dad. So that is one family. But when there is two different families. So family, let's practice saying family first. Say family. One family. One family. So let's practice saying families. Now there are two families. Say families. Families. Very good. So if there is one, then it is family. But when there are two, it is families. Very good. So let's go to our next section right here. Let's practice saying it first. Flea. What is a flea? You see the little puppy? When he scratches his ear, that means there is a flea in his fur that bites him, that makes him want to scratch it. So we find fleas on dogs or maybe cats or animals with hair with fur. Fleas can even sometimes go in our hair. So that's why we always need to wash our hair and be nice, well groomed. So there is one flea. But when we put the letter S, we talk about a lot of them. So look, now there are a lot of fleas. So let's practice saying it together. Fleas. It's pretty easy to say, please, please, OK, 
Okay, so you must remember to always wash your hair at night because otherwise the, ah, the fleas is going to attack you and it can bite you and make you itchy. You can still remember our word itchy. Then the next one should be easy. Friends. I'm sure all of you have friends in the classroom. You do, right? I'm sure you do. Everybody has friends to play with. So let's just practice the word. Say, friends. Listen carefully. Say, friends. Friends. Well done. So we like to play at lunchtime with our friends. We run around, we kick a ball with our friends. But when we have one person, she is our friend. But now there is a lot of them. So we are all friends. Very good. I hope you are practicing saying these words with me because it's very important that we learn the pronunciation. We only have three more words to go, so listen carefully. Our next one is pretty easy. Can you remember the elephant in the helpful animal book? What did the, elfful, uh, the, the elephant carry? Can you remember what he carried? Logs. So, what are logs? When we have a big tree, let me see if each of you draw a tree. So here is teacher's tree. We get logs when you take an axe and boom, boom, you cut down the tree like this. Then this part right here, we call logs. One of them are a log, but now there are a lot of them. So let's practice saying it. Say logs. Logs. One more time. Logs. Very good, because the elephant was carrying the heavy logs. We are almost finished. Let's do our last one. So our next word, let's practice saying it first. Let's see if we can just see the word. Let's practice saying people. People. Ooh, that's a weird word, right? Say one more time. People. Okay, so we use people. When there is one, we say Person. There is one person standing over there. But now there are a lot of people standing there. So when there are a lot of persons, we use people. So let's practice saying it one more time. People. People. Well done. And then our last one should be pretty easy. You should know it. What is this? Dun -dun. Dun -dun. You know what animal this is? This is sharks. When we have one, we say shark. But now there are a lot of them. So now let's practice saying sharks. Sharks. One more time. Say sharks. Okay. So class, all these words that we just went over with is in our Helpful Animals book that you already read. So this is just to give you, to, to make you practice some of the pronunciation of the words in the book. So all I want you to do for the morning is just to practice these new words that we have learned for today.